You may have seen this video I shared a while back showing how you can make any switch completely wireless and how you can do things like play Xbox with this. So in this video, I'll show you how to do it. The first thing that you'll need is this relay transmitter. You'll need a 3.5 millimeter mono male and female cable. You'll also need a nine volt battery case, a 100 ohm resistor, a couple of zip ties, these two small little screws, and this 3D printed case. Uh, all the parts are in the description, this is what it all looks like together. Let's get going. The first thing that you're going to need to do is open up this transmitter. So these two small screws, we'll remove those, pry open the case, and on the left of this button, this top and bottom part over there is where we're going to be soldering. So we'll go ahead and solder on the 3.5 millimeter female cable to the side of this button on the top and left side, just like that. We'll also take a a plier and, and just open up a small piece like a triangular shape on the side where we can let this wire come out of so that we'll be able to close the case. Before we fully close it though we'll grab one of those zip ties and zip it to the cable. This way when we close the case if you tug on this cable the tension gets absorbed by that zip tie. Next step we're going to take our 9 volt battery case we'll put the 3D printed uh, part on top of it and drill two small holes uh, on, one on each side just like this. So when you're finished it should look uh, just like that and these two holes should line up. Afterwards we're going to shorten this cable just a little bit so it looks nicer and the power and ground cable are going to get soldered into the relay receiver. There's a power and ground uh, pin over there. You can look at the schematics for exactly which pins it is, but those just go ahead and get soldered to that. Then take your 3.5 millimeter uh, male head, put it through the case, and solder it uh, to the receiver as well. And it's going to be to the ground in the normally open uh, pin. Again, check out the schematics for more information. This is the hardest part of the entire project. This 100 ohm resistor needs to be moved over to the slot to the right. So the way I'm gonna do that is just put pressure on the side of the resistor and heat up both sides to knock it off. Now, if you're wondering why I say this is the hardest part of the project, take a look at how tiny this resistor is. It's insane. So I'm sure there's probably a better uh, system that has like a much easier way of doing this, but this is one I got and tried first. So what I'm gonna do is take that other 100 ohm resistor that we started out with, uh, add a little bit of solder to both sides in the beginning, and after a bunch of trial and error, I'm gonna solder it to those areas uh, just to the right of it. On the schematics for this particular receiver, it shows you exactly uh, where to do it if that wasn't clear earlier. Um, so you just need to go ahead and solder on another 100 ohm resistor. Here you could see where it was and where I put it. So let's add a zip tie to this cable. Again, this way if you tug on the cable, it doesn't take off all your soldering. This should fit snug right into that 3D printed case, so we'll tuck everything in right over there. And once that's done, we're gonna put this battery, uh, the battery case uh, right over our 3D printed case. And again, those two holes should line up nicely. We'll screw it together um, so that everything looks nice. Pop in a nine volt battery, and we should be pretty much good to go. So let's take a look. I'm going to plug in the receiver into one of these uh, dummy switches that I have. And when I push the button, you can see that the light goes off. So that's working really nicely. Um, you can see I can plug in a switch adapted switch into the transmitter. And when I push the button, again, the light should go off. So that's how to make this wireless transmitter. I hope that makes sense. Um, this can also, by the way, be used for any assistive device. So here you can see playing with the Xbox adaptive controller wirelessly. Uh, you can use this for your self-eating robots or anything you have, really. Um, the whole project, I think in parts, cost around $20. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Check out my website, www.ebcore.io, for more interesting assistive technology inventions that I've come up with. Thanks for watching.